Okay, first thing we want to do is to get OBS updated. Um, there is a lot that went into this update with regards to the back end. They made it so you can natively use Macs finally and all of the, the hardware that go in with like the M1 processors for Mac and stuff like that. So uh, it did change a little bit. And with change, usually that big of an update, it breaks some stuff on the back end on from, you know, legacy systems and, and, and how things worked prior. So. I'm not going to go over the entirety of the patch notes. I'll leave that in the description. If you go up to help, when you open up OBS and check for updates, it'll give you, if there's an update, it will give you uh, the list of the patch notes and changes, changes to the systems and stuff like that. So you can click update now. Go ahead and click yes to the OBS updater, and then it'll search for the available updates. Let it run through all of the installing. You'll notice a different look too when, when OBS starts up. It actually has more of a, the default UI actually has more of an Streamlabs feel to it than what it does OBS Studios. We're going to go ahead and launch this. I had some uh, plugins that were uh, installed on here. And as you can see, one of the plugins failed to load. We're going to get into how to remove these or uninstall these plugins from OBS. That's the first thing we will do with regards to OBS NDI. The NDI is, uh, allows you to stream your video from another computer to this one without having a capture card. So it doesn't work with stream with OBS 28. So we are going to remove it. We'll go ahead and click close. We'll hit, hit OK on this one and then we'll hit close. This is just the plugins that's saying that some of the plugins might, may not be supported with 28. So we'll close that out. As you can see, it looks a little bit different than what it did. To get started, we will go ahead and remove that plugin, that, o that OBS NDI plugin. If you go up to help right here and go to log files, view current log, you should be able to see all of the things that are that were launched with OBS with regards to your uh, plugins. So if you go up and we're looking for OBS NDI, it did not load, obviously it says it couldn't so we need to find that right we'll close this out we want to go into our file explorer into our c drive and you want to go to program files right and you're going to scroll all the way down to obs studios and then we're going to go to obs plugins 64-bit and we're going to find that obs ndi now there's two there's a uh there's a PDB file, and then there's the application DLL. We want to get rid of both of these. So just right, highlight both of them, hit delete, and then they're gone, right? You know, that error that came up, we'll go ahead and close OBS out to let it reload, and then open it back up. No more error. So that NDI is gone. Now there are some plugins that have already updated. One of the other ones that streamers, content cre creators, podcast people that, that may use, um, just like NDI, they would be using that as one of them. Another popular one is StreamFX. You can go into the plugin repository for OBS and look for StreamFX, or you can just go to Google and type in OBS StreamFX, and it'll take you to the plugins. So that's what we're going to do. So after... After you type in OBS StreamFX plugin, it'll usually be at the top one, the StreamFX for OBS Studios plugin. Just click on it. And this one says minimum OBS version. So they've already upgraded theirs to version 28. So we're gonna go, go to download, scroll all the way down. And if you have Windows, Mac, or Linux, you just choose the version that you want. Down here, we, we're on Windows right now. So we're gonna go with the uh, Windows installer, the EXE. Okay. It may say StreamFX Windows is not safe. This is just my firewall and my antivirus clicking in. So you hit those three little three little dots beside it and just say keep. Keep anyway. And then open the file. <laughs> Run anyway. Yes. Except, don't be afraid of all that stuff. It really just is installing their static OBS Studios. If it says the file OBS Studios already exists, obviously if you have already have OBS on your computer, 
it knows that it already exists. Would you like to install to this folder anyway? Yes. Next, install, and then finish. And then to get it to work, you need to reboot or restart OBS, and there it is. Okay, Stream Effects is now back on there. Now, you may also, if you have a Stream Deck, you may have seen that Stream Deck is like broken with regards to 28. Um, that's an easy fix, and we'll show you how to fix that. Okay, so the Elgato Stream Deck has a different plugin for OBS 28. To get this working right, obviously you have to do what we went over earlier with getting rid of the Stream Deck plugin. You need to get rid of the DLL, the driver file, and then the PDD file, PDB file. Get rid of both of those, and then come back here. It'll be The link will be in the description, along with all of the areas that I went to to get this stuff. All that stuff will be in the description. So whether you have Windows or Mac, we're going to go ahead and download this really quick. This is your OBS plugin, MSI. This is an executable for Windows. Next, accept the license agreement, then hit Next again. There's no need to change this, this folder path. This is where your plugins are going, so you need it to be in there. Just hit Next, and then go ahead and hit Install. Stream Deck Setup, yes, Finish. And then after you're done with that, you need to go to this Download OBS Studio plugin. This is the one that will make 28 work. You need to go ahead and download this second one right here. And I want to preface this. Um, you need your Stream Deck plugged into your computer. If you don't, you need to plug it in or else this isn't going to work properly. Until you plug it in, you need to have the Stream Deck software installed. I'm assuming that you already do if you're doing this, but make sure that it's plugged in. After you download it, you just open the file and click install. And then you're done with the, with the Stream Deck one. So after you get the second one installed, and we open back up OBS, you're going to see this error pop up. See, now the following OBS plugins failed to load, the Stream Deck plugin, right? Please update or remove these plugins. I'm gonna do this every time. I don't know why they did it like this. Sometimes it doesn't remove these two with older ones. What it does is once you download the Windows installer and then you double click on this one and install it, it's supposed to, from what I read right here, it's supposed to remove these two plugins. It does not, so you need to go back in and remove those. Again, like last time, we go into our C, Program Files, scroll down to OBS, your OBS plugins, 64-bit, and then we're going to find the Stream Deck ones. These two right here, just click both of them and hit Delete, and you won't get that error anymore. You need to close down... OBS and then reopen it and you'll notice that inside of OBS you want to restart it first but inside of OBS you now have Elgato Stream Deck and it'll tell you the uh, plugin version and then the Stream Deck plugin version. There is one more with regards to the Windows audio output if you want to separate your your audio tracks and stuff like that that will need to be updated if you already have it on your computer you need to update it because it's going to break as soon as you update to OBS 28. So let's look at that one. Okay, so if you do the Google search like we did last time, you'll come up with uh, Win Capture Audio uh, version 2.2.3, but it's still in beta. It says minimum OBS version is 27. It does work with 28, and I'll, sh I'll go ahead and show you that it does. If you have uh, 28, like lower than 27, <laughs> this will not work, but it works with 28. It'll just do it the same as last time. You just go ahead and go to download, and we're going to go to the Windows version, right? Windows Capture Audio, obviously it's for Windows. Click on the Setup EXE, open file. Click on Yes. Accept the agreement, it's just the EULA. Next, install. If you have OBS open, it will ask you to close it or you can close it on your own. I just automatically close the application and then click Next. It'll close it for you and then it'll install. Click Finish, that one will be done. Run OBS again. As you can see, the plugin was installed. How to check that one if it was installed, you can go back to your log files, right? View current log, and you'll see all the ones that are installed. Your stream effects is right there. Your wind capture audio is there, right? You can also check by going down here to the sources, clicking add, and you've got your app application audio capture, and your audio capture beta is there, so you know that the, the Windows is there. So those are three issues that you could run into with having 28 installed. 
I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of plugins that don't work properly or that need to be updated. You just have to wait for the developer, whoever it is, to update it. Um, same with NDI. I use NDI, NDI, I use NDI a lot to get uh, video footage from my Mac to my PC. Now I can just stream it over my network, so I don't have to hook up a capture card or anything like that. It just captures it. So updating to 28 is kind of doing away with that for a second, but I can I can install the older one. Anyway, have any questions on the uh, the updates or plugins or if you have issues, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video and want to see more like this, I will be doing some more on the plugins. Um, let me know again. Hit the like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you on the next video.